Hi guys, it's Mina. <laughs> this is huge. This is a 48 by 48 gallery wrapped level 3 canvas. We're going to be doing an open cup pour. I'm very excited because this is giant. So let's get started. Let me tell you about my colors real quick. We have Artist Loft White mixed with a little bit of satin enamels. We have Windsor and Newton Deep Turquoise. And I have Windsor and Newton. Oh no, this is the Windsor and Newton, sorry. Windsor and Newton Windsor Blue. Beautiful color. I have Golden Payne's Gray, my favorites. And I have Windsor and Newton Violet. It's a very pretty color. And I have my Decor Americana Decor 24 karat gold. So my paints are mixed with Liquitex pouring medium and uh, a little bit of water. Not much water because the Windsor and Newtons are pretty good. The paints took a lot of water. Um, and Floetrol. So I try to put as much Floetrol as pouring medium. So, you know. Okay, what we're going to do, this is coated already with white. I'm going to, I have another huge massive thing of white here. So we're going to pour a puddle, put my ring in it, and then we're going to do some stuff. This is giant and I don't want to actually tilt it too much. So I'm going to try maybe like three of these things spaced out. We'll see if it works. So there's my puddle. I'll put my ring inside. I'll put a little bit more in there so it knows what it's supposed to do. And we're going to get started. So first I want to use the deep turquoise. I did add a little tiny bit of the Windsor blue in here because I wanted to darken it up just a little bit because it's a beautiful, beautiful color. All right, ready? Here we go. I'll pour a little bit right in the middle. I don't actually want, okay, wind, hi. Thank you, darling, for coming to play, but can you not do that right now? Okay, so we've got the deep turquoise. I want to go darker with the Windsor blue. Then I want to put some of the violet in there. And here we go. The little cells are starting. So exciting. I love it. And now we're going to go panes. Okay. And then we're going to go some gold. Ah. Wind. Come on, you haven't been out to play in so long and now you're going to be naughty. Look what you did. That's not very nice. Okay, I'm going to pour a little bit more white in there. Okay, and I'm going to leave that one alone and let it sit for a minute. And I'm going to do another one over here. There's my puddle. I have another ring. How handy. Paint, ring in the paint, pour a little bit more inside of it to get it to flow. We're going to mix up the order and go the other way now. So I'm going to start with the panes and then I'm going to put in some gold. And then I'm going to go my darker blue. That's going to give me a lot of turquoise already, I know it. And I'm going to put in my purple. The violet, sorry. And we're going to put a little bit of turquoise on top. And then I'm going to end that one with some gold. And then I'm going to put some white on top to kind of push the rest of that all out. Okay, so now this one has developed and has this wind art over here. So I'm gonna just spin this and rotate it like that. Just sort of spread that out. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing over, do I want three or do I want us? Let's go with three, because they're gonna spread. All right, Oops, my stick is still in there. These cups are so big. <laughs> okay. There's my puddle. Now, this one, you know what? I'm gonna cut a new one because I don't wanna leave the residue, even though that's kind of, well, all right, we'll do it because it's pretty. And 
So this has still got some paint on it. And watch, I'm gonna put that in there. And when I pour the white into it, it's gonna pick up some of that residue is already spreading. So let's see if I can reach all the way out there. So this one we're gonna start again. I'm gonna do a little different order. Let's see if I can reach. No, don't go that way. <laughs> I can't reach you. Come back over here. Okay. So let's do some Windsor blue. Some gold. And some purple. Violet. That's so pretty, I love it. I wanna do some more turquoise. And then we're gonna go with some panes. Cause I want contrast in there. Okay. I'm gonna just pour a little bit more white in there. Okay, so let's take a look. That's really cool. This is really cool. So I'm gonna do the same thing with that swirling vortex of... <laughs> I like that though. I think it's really cool. I have enough paint to do some more little ones. Not as much, no, I'm not going to because that's already gonna spread out. Let's see how this one's doing. I just wanna give that one another minute to develop. And then we will swirl it off and maybe tilt this baby. But I am going to take some of my turquoise. I'm going to thin it out just a tiny bit. Actually, no, maybe just a tiny bit. That's not a tiny bit, but that's okay. Okay. Let's mix that up. Okay, it's nice and thin now. So this is gonna blend a little bit. So I'm kinda gonna go around these. with a couple of our other colors too with the violet just a little bit of water though not as much as I put in that one okay the thinner your paint is the more it's gonna blend so that turquoise that I put on there right now because it's thin it is gonna blend the violet is not as thin so it's not gonna blend as much and so what this is gonna do is give us some solid ribbons of color around essentially the straight pores because that's the, it's the principle that's causing all these beautiful cells is a straight pore because it's pushing down from up high all right let's go thin this one out just a touch i love that flask it's so cool okay i'm gonna kind of go in through here Something over there. I'm gonna put a little bit of paint spray over there. You should just throw it like Jackson Pollock. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's go this way. Over there. I'll do a little bit in the middle. And come down just a little bit. Okay. Woo! Should we tilt this? Exciting. Huh? <laughs> oh no, you got yourself a mustache. <laughs> Is it gone? No. <laughs> 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 cut! <laughs> no, don't cut. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Look at all the... Okay. So I just got my face washed like an infant. <laughs> Let's take this ring off. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna... Moments of truth. <sighs> okay, I need to be moving all around so you may not see me, but you can see the painting. Let me get my torch. Torch, please. Hello, baby. Okay. That's right. I'm about to create my own airstrike. this lovely little circle of Payne's gray in the middle. So let's do, now I'm going to do a very little bit in here, not a lot at all, because this has all been thinned out now, remember? Except for that gold, actually. All right. Give me a Windsor blue. It's spreading, which means it's working. Violet. Shot of pains. That's cool. You see all those gold cells coming up? Yay! And some turquoise. I'm just going to end it with a little tiny bit of white. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> I'm stalling, I think. All right, I'm going to leave that one alone for a minute. I'm going to come over here. There's literally like sweat dripping in my eyes. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is big. So my goal actually is to not tilt it that much. I don't know if that's going to be possible because I love this shape of the the rings, how it all just stays in that beautiful circle. Okay, you're gonna try, okay, you're coming off now, baby. paint down to that corner. Come back to the middle. This is heavy. <laughs> it's massive. This one's a 48 by 48. Okay. I'm going to go back this way really big. Here we go. One, two, three. Go. <sighs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna stand on my step. There we go. Go over that corner. <clears throat> Use the things that you have around you to help you. Like a stairs sitting right there. Why shouldn't I stand on them? All right, we're gonna go back this way now and try to come back 
bring the paint eventually this way. So I'm going to just bring it back towards now. Let's go over here. I want to go that way now to that corner and stretch all this out a little bit more. This is looking really cool. I can't see. I'm stuck up here. Okay. There we go. Letting the weight of the paint move. I'm okay with the white corner. Okay, let's look at this for a second. Alright, I want to bring this part off the edge over here and maybe go down that way a little bit. So this is where all the weight of my paint is right now. So I need to take it back that direction. And it's good. My paint's actually not moving all that much, which is excellent. It means there's not too much paint left on the canvas. Make gravity work for you. going. Now it's about to go. Just had to all get down there. <laughs> it's a long way. Okay. Come on. But that's good. It tells me that my paint is, there's not too much paint left on here, which is awesome. Whoop. As you tilt it steeper, it moves faster. So if I want to get some weight moving over there, just tilt it steeper for a second and get it going and then move it back. Okay. I like that. Now I'm going to bring the weight of the paint back this way, so I'm going to tilt it pretty sharply. Here we go. So it's not really moving very fast at all, which is awesome. Okay, so that opened up our top. I do want to come over and cover this corner though, or at least a little bit more over here, because I don't like the way this is. I could just pour a little bit of turquoise on there. Hmm. 
Alright. What do we think? No, I don't like it like that. Okay. I'm going to turn it again so that we can tilt off that side. My pins are getting stuck on the plastic wrap. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to go up here. Or, you could be smart. <laughs> Why would we want to do that? And instead of killing myself to create pretty effects over here, I'm just going to lay down some more paint. Because it's all going to blend together. And it's all going to work together. And if I try to get all that paint to move all the way down here, it's not going to, and it's going to distort everything that I've got going on up there. So don't do that. Pour a little bit more paint. Make sure the corner is covered. Okay, so let's take a look and see what's what. That corner down there is bugging me, so I'm just going to put some paint on there. I don't like having it just white. That's cool. This is amazing to me that there could be this white bare spot right there with all the paint that has moved. Actually, you know, it didn't. We didn't drip too much, which is awesome. We didn't lose a lot of paint. So for this size canvas, the 48 by 48, <laughs> I calculated it. You go 48 times 48 and then you divide by 28. And so it came up with like 84 ounces of paint, something crazy like that. And then I was like, ah, and then I realized I already had like more than 120 ounces mixed up. So I was just fine. I just want to open this area up a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Wow, that bottom part is so cool right there on the corner. All right. I'm going to just flip the edges up to encourage any selling. I don't know if we're going to get a lot more cells. There's plenty of them in here, and it's going to develop more over time. That's really cool. I like that a lot. We can torch it again, too. Look this way now. Well, it's opening up all these cells up there. And we're gonna go back this way now. I'm sorry if this is hard to see. <laughs> okay. I like that, I like it a lot. I'm very happy with how this turned out. That was really cool. There's just a little area on the edge over here that's, it doesn't seem to have much paint on it. Cool. All right, let's go get the torch and we'll torch it real fast. And then, uh, I thought I brought Torchy out here. Where did I put him? There he is. <laughs> All right, here we go. And he cleaned off the starter for me last night. Woo! Oh, so I'm going to show you something about the torch in a minute. Woo, that's pretty. Hello, wind. Hi, baby. 
Yeah, good girl, pop bubbles. That's awesome. Make cells for me. I call on the wind. <laughs> That's really cool. That's awesome. I'm really happy with that. I love it. Very cool. Huge, but very cool. Um, oh, so the thing I was going to tell you about the torch. Mine has paint all over it. So there are these holes right here. I don't know if, can you see them? Okay, so this torch, my husband cleaned it off for me last night because it wasn't working quite right. And he cleaned off the starter button, which had paint all over it, so it wasn't clicking. And then this part right here, there's these little holes that apparently is an air intake. And if you have those blocked, then when you turn it on, it's not pulling air in to push out quickly enough. So you, I was getting this like wobbly, weird flame that wasn't doing anything. And I was like, ah. So he fixed it for me. So. Ah, okay. Here, so there's. Where can you see it? Good, right there. And then watch. Aha! Science. <laughs> so make sure if you do get paint on this, you clean it off, because you don't want to have a torch that's not working. Then you're just wasting fuel and time and your energy. So. It happens on normal size torches too. Ah, okay. So keep the air intake valves open. That's it for this one. I will take you down and take some close-ups and go wipe my face. It is so hot today, my gosh. This is so neat in here. And this, I love that deep turquoise. I wanna say thank you to Sarah Mack for this deep turquoise and you know the open ring, open cup pours because she was the first person I saw do it and it was just awesome and amazing. So I love them. And this is like, it's so much fun. I'm still on this quest. One day, maybe I'll have, I have another one of these. I will just pour a ton of white and then just pour it straight in the center and then just let it spread out and not tilt it at all and see what happens. I don't know, I might have to do that. <laughs> that would be fun. I've tried it a few times, but I keep getting greedy and I put too much paint on there and then I have to tilt it. So if I can manage to control myself, which has only been something I've been trying to do my whole life. But you know what, you gotta, life is short, take big bites. You guys ever read Heinlein, Robert Heinlein? Lazarus Long, I love Heinlein. A little bit weird sometimes, but I love his work. <laughs> I think it's so cool that there's all these like engineers and people that read Heinlein as a child and then they got older and they actually invented the tech that Heinlein talked about. Was, that's just amazing to me. Okay, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to just leave that one. That's the last one. There's your yeah right, honey. <laughs> I I'm, count you oh, I see. I was laughing so hard because he didn't tell me he did that. And then he put it in the video and we were watching it before we edited it and we put it up and I was like, what? It was so funny. That was hilarious. Okay, so I like it, I've torched it, the wind is blowing, so I'm not moving it anymore. I'm also starting to get all these beautiful little cells in here that I'm very happy about. And over here as well. This is so gorgeous, my God. Is that like, ah, yum. Where are you gonna put it? <laughs> I hope it'll fit in there. <laughs> I, this is the standing joke, is that I always pick a canvas that I want to work on, but I never think about where I'm going to put it to dry. And so then like when it's up here, we're all like wrangling stuff and playing Tetris to try to make space. So I'm going to have to clear out space in there. I have room though. It's okay. All right. I'm going to take you down and take some close-ups because this is so neat in here. It's just beautiful. And uh, I think I want to stripe a white in there then. And I should just stop messing with it but it's a little too bold in there. Okay. All right. Hi, we're shooting. One sec. All right, so that's it for this one. That was pretty awesome. I'm going to take you down and take some close-ups, and I will see you guys for the dried result. 
Ming Ming. <laughs> I'm shooting, honey. Can you come out of there? <laughs> okay, so this is the dried result. That's my other cat, Ming Ming. And uh, I love how this one turned out. I just think it's so pretty. And these little frothy cells down at the bottom. And then these larger areas with these swaths of gold just blowing through them. This is Call of the Wind. And I really, I, I love this. I just, I feel like it's the wind blowing everything all over the place. It almost looks like wings right in there. But I love this part. This is just such a trip to me. This marbling through here where you see where the, the cells were from the open cup. And then when everything started moving and blending and mixing. This is that corner <laughs> that I kept messing with. But I like it now. I just swiped it across the top. I love this part. So you can see all of the different colors. You can see the panes. You can see the Windsor blue. You can see the violet. You can see the gold. And they're just sparkling. Just so cool. This is really neat. You can see all those little tiny cells inside the turquoise. Or inside the violet. Just so trippy. These little tiny ones. there's a plane going by because I've turned around the camera. <laughs> Anyways, I really enjoyed this one. Mingy! Oh, she's chasing lizards. <laughs> we have a lot of tiny little baby lizards recently. And she thinks that they are the universe's gift to her. <laughs> What's the matter, Ming Ming? Where'd he go? <laughs> anyway. She doesn't eat them, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. This was the three cup open cup pour and the 48 by 48 canvas. So, call of the wind. If you guys enjoyed this, please let me know. I would love to hear from you. If you'd like to see some more samples of my work, you can check it out at Mina Villegas Art on Facebook, or you can send me a message at Mina at MinaVillegas.com. Is that right? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I do love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think, and uh, let me know if you've done any of these big open cups. Look at this part down here. This is so cool. It's like purpley I love painting. <laughs> Just such a trip what you end up with, you know? Like I actually haven't looked at this one very, very closely for about a week. And it's, so it's pretty new all over again. Just really trippy. Anyways, <laughs> thanks you guys. I'll see you for the next one. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.